All right, HVC, hey, I'm Jamie. Welcome back. We're back with another video. I'm back with another unboxing. And uh, this one, it's a big unboxing. Uh, it has arrived in this massive <laughs> box here. Uh, this is the uh, continuing uh, series with uh, Rush 40th Anniversary uh, reissues. Now, often with these reissues, uh, they're available in a number of different configurations like CD sets or vinyl sets. Uh, for these series also, there is the sort of super deluxe uh, set that includes both vinyl and CDs. Uh, this is the 40th anniversary release for uh, the album Moving Pictures, 40th anniversary, so a great, uh, great uh, Rush album. Uh, so for this one, though, uh, they went a little above and beyond for the uh, Super Deluxe uh, box set reissues. I do have the ones in the series. And generally, uh, they've been like this. Uh, this is the Rush uh, one for Permanent Waves. Again, in no particular order here. Uh, also, we've got uh, Rush 2112. And again, these are like uh, vinyl and uh, CD uh, combinations. And uh, then some of these boxes getting even bigger. Uh, Rush and uh, Farewell to Kings. And then there's also Rush and Hemispheres. Okay. So I don't think there are any others in the series so far. Hopefully I'm not missing any, but uh, let's let's get to it. So for this one, uh, as mentioned, uh, boy, they uh, threw just about bells, whistles, everything but the kitchen sink in with this one. A lot of uh, extra goodies uh, included in this one. Um, maybe too much um, for some because it really made this quite a maybe a more expensive box than it needed to be for a combination one. Okay, so we got the, sorry, doing this off camera here, but yeah, it's, it's a rather big box. So it's, uh, this is now uh, inside. Okay, so I do my balancing act here. I'll just put that down here. And so here we have what's inside. And as you can see, and it's a, uh, it's almost a little bit, I, I know there's a lot of like extra little things uh, that they've included in this one. So I'm hearing the sound of a little bit of rattling in there. <laughs> Hopefully a good rattling, not a bad rattling, like broken records or anything like that. Okay. I'm just gonna, just gonna go for it. And yeah, no, this is, wow. My goodness. As I said, so I've had the others uh, in the series, so I wanted to continue with these uh, combination uh, deluxe box sets, uh, but boy, for this one, they've thrown just about everything in here. Yeah, so I, I'm hearing something moving around <laughs> in here. So here we have it. Uh, this is the 40th anniversary for Moving Pictures. And uh, oops, the hype sticker on the front here uh, says, 40th anniversary limited edition super deluxe, three CDs, five LPs, uh, 180 gram uh, audiophile vinyl, and Blu-ray audio. Uh, 2015 album remastered on CD for the first time, direct metal half-speed mastered vinyl for the first time. Uh, live in NYZ 1981, 19 unreleased live performances, two hour concert. Blu-ray audio disc, brand new Dolby Atmos and 5.1 surround, uh, surround mix of the album. Four bonus music videos, including the brand new video for YYZ, uh, which I think actually you can see on YouTube. A uh, 44 page hardcover book uh, designed by Hugh, Hugh Syme and unreleased illustrations, photos, and letters, notes uh, from a whole bunch of people. Uh, exclusive bonus items Red Barchetta model car, Neil Pert signature, moving pictures, 40th branded drumsticks, Alex Lifeson and Getty Lee signature metal guitar picks. 1981 Moving Pictures Tour Book, uh, Moving Pictures 40th Enamel Pin, also a 3D uh, Litho uh, Toronto 1981 Concert Poster, Rush 1973 to 1981 Poster, YYZ Flight Tag, Toronto 1981 Ticket, and a World Tour 81 All Access Laminate. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Whoa, oh my gosh, this is heavy. I just. It's, it's a little cumbersome. And as I say, yes, content seems like they have shifted uh, inside there. So let's see if we can get the shrink off. Okay, as I said, for this one, I don't know why. I mean, yes, you know, Moving Pictures, 40th anniversary, huge, huge album. But uh, I don't know. They put a lot of extra stuff in on this, you know, and it's, it's a lot of fun in terms of these kind of things. But boy, oh boy. Um, 
I'm surprised they almost didn't do, because I don't think, uh, well, as I said, there's a whole bunch of different configurations for this, but for the combination uh, CD and uh, vinyl, I think this is the only one, but I could be wrong on that. But as mentioned, you can get it like certainly just on vinyl, uh, just on CD, I think just single vinyl, uh, that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm just gonna, as to not damage the hype sticker. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna ugh, put that over there and it looks like the back is just slightly uh, stuck on here yeah and it's some sometimes I wish they wouldn't if they're gonna do this um, why glue it like this so I don't know if you'll be able to I'm gonna play with this later I don't want to rip anything but as you can see um, but why don't they just have it on so that if it's in the shrink you, you, that you can just remove it because you're not gonna so maybe I can see there. Sorry about not to be able to show you more of this, but I don't want to fight with this right now because we've got a lot to get through. So that obviously will come off, um, but why they glue them like that? So here's the uh, box and it's got kind of the whole sort of moving pictures thing going on here like that. Uh, so it's again, just the lid that comes off like this and hopefully there won't be any embarrassing noise when I <laughs> remove the lid. That has happened many a times. You get that wonderful, sound but oh my gosh okay so the lid is off and then nothing on the inside and then the first thing we see we have a nice little ribbon uh, because there's a lot of stuff in here and this is the first thing we have the iconic picture uh, taken at the uh, ontario provincial uh, legislature building and absolutely beautiful i don't know if there's anything else oh yes there is because that's that was the original uh, sleeve for it, so they've just done that as an insert. And then we have, of course, and this is definitely not gonna be color vinyl, but uh, kind of a cool, I don't know if you can see that, this label there. Okay, very nice. Okay, and then next in the box, <laughs> all the sounds of these things moving inside here. It's just a little, oh, don't know what I'm gonna find here. Okay, so we have Rush Live, uh, Live and YYZ 1981. That's very cool. Looking forward to that. So there you have the track listing there. That's a, that's a great picture. I've never seen that one. And nice skate pull there. And kind of the, the canister uh, sleeves there. Oh, it just pops out like that. And I'm sure the other one looks just the same. Oops. Okay. And like that, and like that. Okay, very nice. Very cool. I just want to make sure there isn't any other little things in there. Okay, and next we have uh, Live and YYZ 1981. And of course, uh, YYZ being the uh, code for the uh, Toronto airport and the great song, great, great instrumental from Rush. Nice cover there, gatefold, very cool. And, I'm sure, and there's a nice, uh, nice gloss to the uh, album jackets as well. Continuing like that. And then like that, nice poly line sleeves. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I think you can tell by that. Okay, and then continuing on. Gosh, lots of stuff in here. We have 40th anniversary, 1981. Uh, thankfully, the ribbon is really comes in handy. So this is gonna be including uh, some of the, uh, the goodies. So I don't know, we'll just maybe put that to the side for right now. And uh, yes, I think some contents have definitely shifted. I'm gonna put them back so we have the the look. And I'm not sure if, am I? Oh, it's shifted right, maybe right over here. Yep, right over here, yes. Contents have definitely shifted in here in their little places, but I put them back for the <laughs> aesthetic value. Uh, so this is the nice hardback book. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. Okay, and then last but not least, we have all the goodies and I put them back, I think, yes, all in their proper places. So here's how they look. Uh, when first opened up. So there we have that. My goodness. Okay, so let's say uh, get right to, I was wondering if it was going to be one or two. It would seem odd to have just one, but they're both, they're both in here. These are the 
drumsticks. Uh, so this is Neil, Neil Peart, uh, Moving Pictures 40th Anniversary. There we go. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. I don't know. I think you can see that. Like that. And then the other one's just the same. There's, there's no uh, cover on the, on the tips of the drumsticks. But uh, nice, very nice. All right. And my son is a drummer, so I think uh, I wonder if he'll uh, get a chance to drop by and use those. Although we don't have his drum kits here. His drum kits is, is at his place. Uh, there you go. Wow, these are, I wasn't quite expecting. These are really, these are the, the, uh, the, the picks or the plectrums, however you like to call them. But they're, wow, that's kind of cool. I don't know if I can... There's that. Yes, I wasn't expecting that, although they're not easy to pick up. There we go. And then the other one. Okay, so I'll put those back in there. Uh, we have the little pin here. Like that. And then the... Wow. <laughs> you know, <laughs> so lots of stuff in here. My goodness. And now the little... Rush Moving Pictures 40th Anniversary Red Barchetta. There you have it. <laughs> the official. Wow. They must have had uh, lots of fun coming up with what items should we include for the 40th Anniversary uh, Moving Pictures box set? What stuff can we have? So, wow. There you go. So that uh, it was nice to see that that was uh, kept in a little, uh, little foil thing there. Uh, that's a good idea. Okay. And just pop that back in. All right, so let's uh, take a look at some of the other goodies uh, that we talked about. Um, uh, let's take a look at the book last. We'll take a look at some. This is sort of portfolio of all the stuff here, and it just simply opens like that. And then you get this kind of kind of look in the back and continuing with the theme here. Okay, and this opens up like this, and there's just as we mentioned. Uh, from the hype sticker, just all the goodies uh, that are included. I'd hold this up uh, the way it looks, but it's, I think a lot of the contents are gonna fall out. So it kind of opens up like that. And uh, yeah, just more goodies. Uh, wow, this is ni nice. Uh, a lot of times they use very thin paper for these uh, reproductions, but this is on nice, nice cardboard. So there you go. There's that. And uh, it's got Okay, there's that, and then we have that, which has been in keeping with a lot of these releases. They've been doing these kind of fun. Oh, so this is kind of like, okay, I don't know. You should be able to see that. <laughs> That's fun. There you go. <laughs> this does have a lot of fun stuff in it. I will give them that. And I've always enjoyed this band's sense of humor. Oops. YYZ instead of Air Canada, Canada Air. <laughs> and this is the Rush uh, Tour book. Very nice. And as I mentioned, gosh, you don't see as many tour books. It's all t shirts and things like that. I mean, some tour books are still being made for tours but I don't know I just I'm always partial to a tour book I like the t-shirts too but I don't know something about the tour book is something like t-shirts wear over time they get misplaced but then the tour book is a nice way to sort of recapture those memories and speaking of which uh, this album is a uh, it's certainly special for me because this was the one and only time uh, that I saw Rush. I saw this tour, uh, the Moving Pictures tour. This was in March of 1981 where they played the London Gardens. And uh, it was one of those uh, very strange adventures uh, at the time. Uh, there, okay, let's take a look at the posters here. Uh, went with a whole bunch of, uh, a friend of mine got the tickets, but then we were meeting up uh, with people. So from Stratford to London really is only about, it's, you know, 45 minute drive or whatever. But we were meeting up with these guys that were in like different farms through the region, through uh, rural southwestern Ontario. So it took forever to meet up with these guys and then eventually get there. We wound up missing, I believe, 
believe there was an opening act, and I didn't find out till years later. The opening act was FM. Uh, this was post Nast the Slash, but with Ben Mank, I would have loved to see them because I'm a big FM fan. Didn't really know the band at the time, FM, but uh, I would have loved to have seen them. But we did arrive in time for the concert, and uh, it was uh, it was amazing for sure. And the one and only time I ever saw Rush, but it was a really nice time to see with moving pictures, still doing a fair bit of the old stuff as well. So that was neat and neat to have, see them in London, not too far away. Oh, okay, so there's that. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else with that and we'll take one final look. I'm running out of space here. <laughs> Story of my life, running out of space. Okay, and then of course the uh, nice uh, book, uh, hardbound here. Great Toronto memories, and of course really, my goodness, nice quality paper. But uh, yeah, it was a thrill to see Rush, and uh, for whatever reason, the one and only time I ever uh, saw Rush, never, never really got down to Toronto to see them, or Detroit, that sort of thing, was always kind of meaning to, and then of course, as always, life gets in the way, that sort of thing, so... But uh, boy, they put on a good show. And it was one, and I remember, uh, because you know, driving down with these guys and then meeting up and then using different other vehicles to get down there, and like, you know, how you meet up with somebody and then they take their car, and uh, this was in late March, and we had lovely weather going down. It was really nice weather, but then I remember on the way back, a snowstorm hit, and it was really snow snowing, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, am I <laughs> going to not be able to make it home? But uh, thankfully... No accidents, no problems, we didn't make it home. But yeah, we got one of those late March snowstorms at the time. Gosh, all the way back to 1981. Seems like forever ago. That's for sure. And it sounds like, uh, yeah, Alex Lifeson's uh, gonna be uh, doing some stuff. I don't think any word if uh, Alex and Getty are gonna be doing anything together, but uh, Reportedly, Alex Slyson's got some new stuff coming out. But what a great album. Oh my gosh, like with Tom Sawyer, uh, Red Barchetta is a track I love. YYZ, an incredible instrumental that often uh, would showcase uh, Neil Peart's uh, drum solo uh, in concert. Uh, Limelight, great track. I mean, all of Side One is just absolutely solid. Then Witch Hunt, uh, very cool, camera eye. And there we have, yes, don't forget about the CDs through all this stuff that we've been going through. That looks, uh, boy, that's uh, quite colorful with the uh, popcorn <laughs> going on there. Uh, so yeah, I think you should be able to, hopefully, yeah, get these out of here. And we'll take a quick look here. So we've got uh, CD1, quite simply. And then we've got uh, Rush Live. YYZ 1981 part one. And they, they do have, uh, sorry, I should be showing you the background here because they even have little things going on in the background here. There's the first two open like that. Then we have Rush Live and YYZ 1981 part two. And then we have uh, moving pictures, the uh, Blu-ray. And I do love the cover <laughs> on the label here. Lots of fun. There we go. As I said, I've always enjoyed the, uh, you know, the tongue-in-cheek or the humor of Rush. And we have the backgrounds there, and they're like that, and like that. Okay, did we cover everything? Oh my goodness, so much uh, to this box set, but uh, boy, it's going to be fun to listen to. That's, so that is Rush Moving Pictures, 40th anniversary, the deluxe box set with all of the goodies. And it arrived in uh, great shape, I must say. So that's uh, despite some of the uh, contents uh, shuffling, nothing nothing too, too bad, that's for sure. So again, uh, thank you so much for dropping by and uh, we will chat again soon. Do take care. Bye-bye.